Good evening and welcome to this edition of the Newsletter on 6. Today is Tuesday, June the 2nd, 2015. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, a man who held two women at gunpoint for several hours killed himself when confronted by a Coffee County deputy Monday morning. Eight people were killed in vehicle accidents over the Memorial Day holiday. We'll bring you video from the Tullahoma High School graduation ceremony held last Friday night. The Shelbyville Bedford County Chamber of Commerce Beautification Committee will be conducting their annual garden tour event this Saturday. And the Manchester Coffee County Library started their summer reading program this week. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Here at Stan McNabb Collision Center, we work with all major insurance companies and we get the job done right the first time, all time. Well, I grew up in Tullahoma. We'd always done business with Sam McNabb, so when we needed collision service after a run-in with a deer, we knew to call those guys. We already had trust with them. We called Cody. He took great care of us. He kept us posted every step of the way, and we couldn't have been more pleased. Getting your vehicle back to pre-loss condition shouldn't be a headache. So in the event of an accident, contact me, Cody Hall, at Stan McNabb Collision Center. It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades and summers unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. Coffee County authorities say a man who held two women at gunpoint for several hours killed himself when he was pulled over by an officer on Interstate 24. Sheriff's Department spokesman Edward Knott said a 911 call was received from an open cell phone around 5.30 a.m. on Monday morning. When the deputy arrived on the scene near mile marker 101, he began speaking to the occupants of his Chevrolet Avalanche. During that time, Knott said 24-year-old Jose Luis Garcia pulled out a gun and shot himself. The bullet apparently traveled through Garcia and struck two females inside the vehicle. The women were not identified but were taken to a local hospital to be treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Witnesses told police Garcia had been holding the women at gunpoint. Garcia was on parole for aggravated robbery, but there was an active parole violation. The investigation is continuing. Preliminary reports released by the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security indicate that eight people were killed in traffic crashes during the 96-hour Memorial Day holiday period this year. That's one less than the nine vehicular fatalities recorded during the 2014 Memorial period. The preliminary Memorial Day holiday traffic fatality numbers include vehicular deaths reported by all Tennessee law enforcement agencies. Five of the people killed in crashes were not wearing seat belts, while two of the traffic deaths were motorcycle riders. There were no alcohol-related tra traffic fatalities. The Tennessee Highway Patrol's no refusal enforcement resulted in 31 DUI arrests and th 316 seat belt, ci seat belt citations in the nine participating counties during the holiday period. Of the eight traffic fatalities statewide, one death occurred in Shelby County, which was a no refusal county. The Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development says uh, unemployment rates in Tennessee decreased in 94 counties and increased in only one county during the month of April. Coffee County's rate decreased from 5.6 to 4.9%. 1,240 people were without a job in Coffee County. Grundy County's rate went from 8.4 to 7.3%. County, uh, Cannon County decreased from 6.4% to 5.2%. Bedford County's rate fell from 6.6 to 5.8%. Franklin County dropped from 5.2 to 4.8. Moore County went down from 4.6% to 4.2. And in Warren County, the unemployment rate dropped from 6.1 to 5.5%. Williamson County had the state's lowest unemployment at 3.7%, while Scott County had the highest at 8.9%. 
A Coffee County man is dead following a single vehicle crash off a rural road. The Tennessee Highway Patrol says Jonathan Essinger, age 30, died after his Nissan pickup truck left Parker Road north of Manchester around midnight last Thursday. The truck slammed into a brick mailbox, con concrete columns, and a culvert before flipping upside down. Essinger was pronounced dead at an area hospital. The fatal accident is under investigation by the Tennessee Highway Patrol. A new study projects Volkswagen's expansion in Chattanooga could lead to the creation of nearly 10,000 jobs. The report conducted by the University of Tennessee's Center for Business and Economic Research released last Wednesday estimates the factory could add $370 million in new annual income once the expanded production is underway. The report was commissioned by Volkswagen, which is spending $704 million to grow the plant to make a new sport utility vehicle and to open its new North American Engineering and Planning Center. Bill Fox, director of the UT Center and author of the report, said the incident er, said the indirect jobs will be created across several areas, including construction, grocery stores, and restaurants. The plan expansion is scheduled to be completed by the summer of 2016. We'll be back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. The wait is finally over. The 2015 50th anniversary Ford Mustang is finally here. This is one awesome vehicle. Let me give you a few stats on this V8 Mustang. 435 horsepower, independent rear suspension, 25 miles per gallon, and this is the one you've been waiting for. Zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Don't blink an eye or you'll miss it. Come by Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and check it out. The 2015 Mustang, the all new redesign, will leave you speechless. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. A world without breast cancer is a world with more birthdays. And signing up for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk will help us get there faster. The American Cancer Society invests in groundbreaking breast cancer research and we're part of every community. In fact, one in two women newly diagnosed with breast cancer turns to us for support. Sign up today at makingstrideswalk.org. Together, we can finish the fight against breast cancer. Welcome back. 258 Tullahoma High School seniors received their diploma last Friday evening at Wilkins Stadium. This outstanding group of students also claimed some $4.2 million in college scholarships. Let's watch as class president Noah Sloan addresses his fellow graduates. The president of the class of 2015, Noah Sloan. Good evening. On behalf of the Tullahoma High School graduating class of 2015, I would like to welcome each of you to today's commencement ceremony. As a class, it is truly an honor to stand before our friends, our teachers, our families, and the entire community in celebration of this milestone in our lives. Each of you has played a pivotal role in shaping the minds and character of those sitting before you. We owe much to the rich tradition of our school, its faculty, and our community. Our school system mirrors the strong values and diversity of our community. We thank you for demanding and celebrating academic excellence. Thank you for supporting and celebrating athletic achievement. Thank you for embracing and celebrating the arts. We appreciate that you hold dear the ideals and principles on which our country was founded. Last but certainly not least, we would like to thank our parents. You got us here and somehow you survived this 18 year journey. We are forever indebted to you and recognize the importance of your role in our lives. Class of 2015, here we are. We are gathered here this evening one last time as high school students. We gather in celebration, in remembrance, and in anticipation. 
We celebrate our accomplishments, both the visible and the unnoticed. We celebrate the challenges and struggles we have overcome. We reflect on the fact that our challenges and struggles, struggles humbled us, making us stronger and better prepared for the life in front of us. We look to the horizon in anticipation of the future and our purpose within that future. Our time at Tullahoma High School has molded us into the men and women we are today. Every gasp for air in the overcrowded passageways of the dungeon to the accidental power glitch following last year's coffee pot game has led to this moment. Always remember that our successes, and more importantly, our struggles, have shaped us into who we are. When we leave here tonight, the world will attempt to challenge our beliefs, our character, and our humanity. We will be challenged physically, men mentally, and spiritually. Should we avoid and shy from the challenges we will encounter? In his letter to the church in Rome, the Apostle Paul confirms that we should rejoice in our sufferings and personal challenges. For the challenges we face produce perseverance. Perseverance produces character, and character produces hope in all situations. The challenges we face will help reveal hidden truths. Our response to those challenges will define who we are. When we persevere, our character, the moral fiber within us, is strengthened. Our eyes are opened and we begin to understand the struggles and hardships of those around us. We begin to focus outward instead of inward. We begin to understand our purpose. We become humble. We begin to have and understand hope. And we become defined by what is good. Our school, our community, our friends, and our parents have great expectations for us. They have prepared us well. They have done their job, and it is time to close this chapter of our lives and begin a new one. Tonight, we have thankful hearts, we have memories we will cherish for the rest of our lives, and we have friendships that will endure the test of time. In our next chapter, we have much more to learn and many challenges ahead of us. We will struggle, but we are ready. We are up to the challenge, and we will persevere and accomplish much. As we face life's challenges and struggles, let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Class of 2015, I leave you tonight with the words of 18th century theologian John Wesley. Go forth and do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as you ever can. And we will be bringing you more of the full video of that graduation ceremony several times in the month of June here on Charter 193. We'll be right back in just a moment after these messages. Serving you as a local firefighter. Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Sundrop is proud to present this year's Race for Refreshment 5K and Family Fun Day in Tullahoma's Frazier McEwen Park on Saturday, June 6th at 8 a.m. Proceeds will benefit Blue Monarch, a long-term recovery center serving women and children struggling with abuse and addiction. Register today at bluemonarch.org for this year's Race for Refreshment 5K and Family Fun Day in Tullahoma's Frazier McEwen Park on Saturday, June 6th at 8 a.m. and join Blue Monarch in breaking the cycle of addiction and rebuilding the family. Welcome back. The Shelbyville Bedford County Chamber of Commerce Beautification Committee will be presenting its annual garden tour this Saturday. News leaders Peggy Burton spoke with Sylvia Pinson and Lorraine Sutton about the tour. We're getting ready for the garden tour. Yes, ma'am. 
Who wants yes. to talk first? Well, it is the 2015 Shelbyville Bedford County Chamber of Beautification Committee presents the garden tour. And you two are on that. We are on, on the, the committee. committee. We mm -hmm. have nine homes this year. That's a lot. It is, and it's June 6th, starting from 10 until 4. There are, there are a couple of homes that are going to be open, open, open uh, that will be interesting to go through also. Good. I always hate to ask someone to do it, <laughs> to, oh, to open their home <laughs> as well as their garden. I mean, if you can get one ready, it's pretty good, but some of these people can get both of them ready, not me. Um, and where does it actually start? Where's the well, beginning point? They can start anywhere. Oh, okay. Um, there are actually nine different locations, and you can buy tickets at the Chamber of Commerce in Shelbyville or at m &L Greenhouse. Okay. Um, or the day of at the houses. At the houses, right. Oh, just show up the house and they'll, uh -huh. they they'll can give pick you, one of right, these up if you right. go to one we'll of the locations. Right. So there. Because the instructions on how to get there and what, sort of what you're right. going to see is on. I notice you have several zones. Yes, we have the Bell Buckle Zone. We have three homes there. Oh, and good. if you want to comment on one of the homes of the three well, that we have here. We have uh, one home that's um, in Covered Bridge Estates, and it's up on top of a hill. <laughs> and it's Harold and Pat Smith's. And Harold has been an artist um, oh. with Thomas Kincaid, and he has kind of done his garden from the perspective of an artist. We actually have two oh, different artists uh, that are have opened their gardens and all for this. Um, but Harold's got a wonderful waterfall that he has built permanent out of rock oh and it's fantastic coming down out of the hill and then um, Jean Hill down at the Flat Creek in the Zone 4 is also an artist and she has just different theme gardens throughout her yard. I admire and people she, that do that. Oh, she her, and she also has a bottle chapel. She has built a chapel. She a has chapel. built an outdoor open air chapel out of wine bottles. Oh and liquor bottles that are concreted together. I mean, it's something that's you can amazing. Go, that's it's, an art piece in itself. It wow. is fantastic that she has done this, and it's it's open for us to see that day also. What so, a wonderful! And she's in Flat Creek. She's in Flat Creek. Uh huh. Other zones is the uh, downtown Shelbyville. Okay. Um, a group our town has put together a community park. That's wonderful. And it is on the east side of the square. And also we have uh, Hoodlum Alley. Mr. Uh, Doobie That's is opening up her antique cars. Yeah. Awesome. While through the town so, that so day, they, they can will, stop. That'll be and part you of can the travel deal. on out like you're going to Unionville, Tennessee, into a home that is on the west part, uh, west side of Shelbyville. And then we have a beautiful, uh, unique home that is showcasing grandfather's uh, on War Trace area. Nice. So we're circling downtown when they get the directions. It's all based off of downtown. Downtown Court Square, north, south, east, east and, and west. west. And so it so looks to me like a very wide variety and a cross section of the Correct. entire right. county almost. Right. It is. Yeah. And it's a blessing that we have so many different homes that I know. were and open it's a blessing their homes. That people right. are, will go out there and clean up their garden so that people can oh, come yes. and tromp through. <laughs> right. You could start in anywhere you want. Right. Correct. Exactly. But in we're encouraging people to buy their years. tickets. How many years have you been doing Lauren, this? I, I, it doesn't uh, matter. This is about 10 years. Mm -hmm. So it's about obviously been successful. Mm -hmm. It's been successful. And uh, mm -hmm. you can go to the Chamber of Commerce and the tickets are only $10. Is that, yes, did correct. I read that? $10. That's mm -hmm. a good deal. And right. does the money go to something special? We use it for the beautification projects of the, the beautification committee. We've done different things. Uh, we re put a, a fence around one of the city cemetery as one thing that we've done um, we've just done different things we restored some benches in town is this time, an all-volunteer so organization yes, all it is. Volunteers. yes it is volunteers and mm -hmm. are you looking for volunteers ever of course, of course, of course, of course always, yes. always. 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 Any time. So, so if anybody wanted to volunteer they could they check in at the chamber of commerce yes. or probably, they could call or they could call and, either call one either and one then we'll us. get one of the, the right. committees we right. meet monthly we'll be right back in a moment with more news leader on six you made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons. 
to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Sir, could you step over here, please? Is there anything you want to tell me? Like what? Like maybe you're out to protect the environment? Give scholarships to kids? Fight blindness? Help the elderly? Feed the hungry? Stuff like that. Well, I only ask because you've got a little lion in you. See? Right there. Right next to whatever that other thing is. Welcome back. The Manchester Coffee County Library started their summer reading program this week. Peggy Burton spoke with Virginia Kevin and me about the program. We have a guest from Manchester today, Miss Virginia Kevinimi. Yes, you're good. surprised, aren't you? Yes, you thought I'd forget I am. that. <laughs> she is the youth the director, or say it, say the whole title. Youth services specialist. Youth services specialist, which means you work with youth, I assume. I do. I do. And uh, that's the Coffee County uh, Manchester. Manchester Library. Mm -hmm. And uh, what a great position to be in because you get to be around young people. One of my main responsibilities is planning the summer reading program though. And, and it's when does that start? June the 1st coming oh. up in less than two weeks. In less than two weeks. Mm -hmm. And so have you sort of got it scoped out? Yes. Um, we have Wednesday programs lined up where we'll have jugglers oh, and great. magicians and puppets and what fun. animals and every Wednesday morning at 10. And sort of what age group comes in there? That is, it's for the whole family. Okay. But elementary age. Elementary this age. Is, we have more though. I know you do. Okay. <laughs> On Monday nights at 7 we have bedtime story hour. Fun. On Tuesdays for 9 to 12 year olds we'll have tween scene. On Thursday mornings we'll have preschool story hour during the summer. And the reading program itself is for ages birth through 18. Wow. So, and we have lots of so prizes So when you have the away. reading program, is that just to help people read better? Do you have people that actually can't read? Or it is just, all to, about encourage just to encourage the kids reading? to read during the summer and not lose uh, reading skills. Yeah. If they don't read during the summer, they do they lose. They do lose. Mm -hmm. It's like anything else. Mm -hmm. It's a practice start. And we will have for every 10 books that the little ones read, or 10 chapters that the older ones read, we'll have a small prize to oh, give that's them. that's nice. And we will also have window prizes, that's what we call them. Every time they come to the library, they'll get to enter for the bigger prizes. And so then the bigger prizes will come at the end of end the, of the program. program. We will give some away each week, but the main big prizes. We have a Kindle we're giving away. Oh, that's nice. A $25 Walmart card, tickets to Dollywood, tickets to the aquarium, Wonderworks and Pigeon Forge. Lots that's and lots that's of prizes. wonderful prizes. We will give away at That'll the end of the program. That'll a child. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Is this a, something you all have been doing every summer? It is. My children are 29 and 31 and they participated when they were little. Did they? So and they it's loved been it. going on. Yes, it's been going on a long time. And for time. people that don't know where the Coffee County Library is, let's give we're, them an address if you have it. We're right next to Jiffy Burger in Manchester. Easy to find. Oh, easy to find. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows where Jiffy Burger is. Is Jiffy Bur Burger on uh, Highway 41 or It is. The, okay. It is. All right. So 
and there's a web page so I think anytime you want to know the exact times and what's going on mm -hmm. during the day just go to the coffeecountylibrary.org yes I think that's the best and you're also on Facebook on Facebook it just it. says Coffee County Library probably or it is will it say something? Coffee County Manchester Manchester Publica. I've got to remember mm -hmm. that and mm -hmm. uh, do you find that sometimes the children sort of give you ideas on what would be fun to do? They do, and the parents do, mm -hmm. because so many of the parents were part of the reading program when they were young. So they have, they tell me what they, they like. They tell a few things that they like mm -hmm. and keeps the program going. Yes. Okay, let's remember, June what? June the 1st. June the 1st. Through the July the 10th. Through July the 10th. And I would certainly encourage everybody to show up at the Coffee County Manchester Library. That's right. Thank Virginia, you. Virginia, it's so great to meet you. Thanks great for coming on here and telling us about what you me. do. That's wonderful. And don't forget to tune in to this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Bonnaroo's Public Relations Director, Jeff Coyar. Winston Brooks will remind us how important it is to recycle and tell homeless children's library. Leslie Nevin will tell us about their summer reading program. All that and more on this week's Living. Stay with us. We'll be right back with your weather forecast right after these messages. The Kia Summer's on Us sales event is going on right now at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. Let me tell you about this event. Purchase a new Kia Sedona, Kia Optima, Kia Forte and receive 0% financing up to 66 months and your first three payments for free. For a limited time only, no strings attached. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. The Kia Summer's on Us sales event going on right now. Why buy anywhere else? This is a tree that was never chopped down. To make a crutch that was never needed. By a child who never got polio. because vaccine was never in short supply. Thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. Over the years, Rotary Club members have helped immunize over two billion children against polio. Soon, the world will be polio free. Rotary, humanity in motion. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1942 at 93 degrees. The record low was in 1931 at 44 degrees. Average high on this day is 82 and the average low is 59. Partly cloudy weather expected uh, tonight with a low of around 57. Partly sunny weather in your forecast for Wednesday with a high of 82 and a low of 61. 30% chance of storm on, sun on Thursday rather, with a high of 84 and a low of 63. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.